Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can do some background information on your topic. So the first thing you need to do is choose one of the topics off the list that your professor gave you. And for my example, for your class, I'm going to do the unusual style in iconography of Hieronymus Bosch. So why did I pick that? Well, um, even if I just Google this artist, I see some pretty cool images that look interesting to me. So honestly, that's why I picked them. So, but in your situation, you're not going to want to do a Google search. I mean, you can do that to kind of narrow down what you want to work on, but you want to use reliable information and you want to move from that information into scholarly literature for your topic. So I'm going to recommend that for every topic you research for this class, you first look for information on it in your textbook. And for some of you, there'll be a whole chapter on your topic, and for others, there might just be a little blurb. So I'm going to use the index of the book, which is in the back, and look up Hieronymus Bosch. And when I do that, I see that there are a few um, pages of information on him. So page 468 and 469 in my big old version. Um, your page numbers will be different because you've got newer versions of the book. And what my job is to do now is to read about him in this book and start picking up some information about him, like um, what is he famous for, when was he alive, um, where did he live and paint, what era was he part of, right? Um, and so I start getting a little bit of information about him and realize that he's kind of an unconventional guy um, and hard to pigeonhole. But I still need more background information so that I can figure out what I want to search for and I'll know what I want to write about him. So to do that, I need to look at other sources because the textbook had a little bit, but I need more. So right here I'm on the LibGuide or the research guide that I made for your class, right? The Art 102 online guide. I'm under Understand Your Topic tab. I'll click right here. And it's going to show me some additional sources that I can use to get background information on a topic. And generally, at this point, we would look for an encyclopedia um, because encyclopedias are written to teach people who don't know much about a topic to give them an overview. So the encyclopedia I'm going to recommend you start with in this class is Grove Art. And so to search it, I'm just going to type in the name of my artist. And it's really important that you spell his name correctly, because if you spell it wrong, like I did in an earlier search, you will get no results. And you can see now I have 74 results. I can limit by the type of result I'm looking for, like if I want a biographical art article or a subject reference. I'm going to start with this one up here. This looks pretty good to me. It looks like a nice overview. And so it is, it's giving me an overview of the, his life, his work in iconography, his style, technique, and chronology, um, critical reception, so what people thought about him when he was alive and then after he was dead, that's what posthumous means, and then a bibliography, right? And so as I go through here, once again, I'm looking for, you know, when he was alive, what he was known for, what's interesting about him, what's problematic, right? There's some examples of his work, so I could choose one of these works to talk about it within the context of his style or iconography. And then at the end, it's going to give me um, even more information about where I can get more information. That's what a bibliography is. It's a list of books and other sources on the artist. Right. Um, and then when I go up to the top, if I want this for later, I can print it by clicking this PDF icon. I can save it. It's going to tell me how to cite it, which is really important for you guys, right? And we're going to say we want it in Chicago, and you can download it or copy and paste it, you know, and then you can email it to yourself. So um, in this video, I've shown you um, two simple sources that you can use to get background information on your artist. You know, number one is your textbook. Number two is a very, um, is one of our online encyclopedias, Grove Art Online. 
And now that you have a little more background information, um, if you click on the next tab up here, I'm going to show you how you can find books and additional information on this artist.